Hi, this is Anne with a quick anagram on making sure that you can see your changes in the browser when you make them. Um, I have here a super simple web page uh, with um, just a heading and um, one line of text in it. It's um, the code from Code Anywhere is on the left and the new pages and the page is being rendered on the right. And um, there are basically two ways that you can not see changes. If you make a change to your HTML itself, and then you refresh your rendering page and you don't see the change, I can pretty well guarantee that you simply have forgotten to save this file. Now remember in Code Anywhere that as long as there's a round dot up here, it means the file has changed but not saved. So you can go up to here, file, and do a save, or you can, you can learn how to type Control S, which is faster. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and save. And the little round dot goes away and I just have this X where I could close the window. So now if I come over here and I refresh, I will definitely see the new HTML. Uh, it can work differently if you have external assets. So an external asset can be a style sheet, uh, a CSS style sheet, which is what's giving me the nice little cornflower blue color I have here. It could be JavaScript code. It could be an image if you keep the file name the same and, and change what's in the image. So any kind of, um, any kind of file external to your initial HTML page that needs to be loaded, the browser tries very hard to not re-download any assets that it, that it believes are the same as the last time it rendered this page. And you don't have to worry about how it knows that. You just have to know that it's over there trying to save bandwidth. And sometimes that's the last thing you want. So if you make a change to, to a CSS or a JavaScript file, and you come over here and you hit refresh, and you don't see that change on this page, you need to know how to force the browser to pull down new assets and to skip caching. And the simplest way is to hold down the shift key while you push the, re the refresh button. Um, oh, but you can still make mistakes if you don't save that file, nothing's gonna work. So now if I hit shift refresh, I get my purple background. Okay, and um, that's fine. I actually do that quite a bit, but I'm gonna be urging you to have the debugger, um, console dev tools debugger open um, a lot of the time anyway. And if you do that, then, then there's a simpler way to make sure that you always get um, fresh resources. So if I open my context menu, I go to inspect element, and I pull up my dev tools, um, and in this smaller window, they're taking up quite a bit of space on the, on the right-hand side. So I'm going to have it dock at the bottom. Okay, so now I've got the, these, this window open at the bottom where I can see all of my page content and I can see what's down here in the debugger at the same time. Um, if whatever your debugger looks like, um, in whichever version of the browser that you're using, Chrome or Firefox, because don't use Safari or Edge or IE, um, you're going to have a network tab, and if you go over there, you're going to find a checkbox that says disable cache. Okay, if you check that, it will, it will tell the browser to not use cached assets as long as the debugger window is open. Okay, you can't check this button and then close this window. And one, I used to recommend shift, shift refresh um, basically all the time because I know many of you have some much smaller screens than I do. And this window can take up um, quite a bit of space on your page. So one option you do have is if you're finding that this is just taking up too much space for you, is you can still use this feature and simply switch the, the console tools to a separate window which keeps them open um, and keeps this working, but basically hides it nicely between um, your couple of tabs that you're working on. Um, if you've got enough screen 
geography, I highly recommend having code on one side and your rendered page on the other. Um, but you may not. You may have to be switching between two tabs in order to go from the code to the changes. So now, if I change this back to my favorite cornflower blue, okay, I know that when I just hit refresh, if I have saved this file, see how easy it is to make that mistake? I can be guaranteed that I will reload assets. Hope that helps.